Hello everybody and welcome to another Binding of Isaac mod spotlight. Today we're looking at a playable character, the host. And this basically just makes uh, the host, which is an enemy in game, you'll recognize him when you see him, uh, it makes him a playable character, which is pretty dang cool. It's a mod by B.A.M. Polder, uh, and we will honestly just hop right in and check this out. I'm going to put on kids mode just because I still don't know if they fixed that bug. One of these days I'll just test this uh, so we can stop figuring it out, but uh, this guy does have an odd active item. Uh, we pop it, and he shrinks down uh, and becomes invincible, and we can literally just do this uh, a lot by walking around and it makes him uh, invincible for that short second. It's pretty neat, uh, interesting concept. The fact that he starts with triple shot uh, means you can probably get some pretty fun and unique synergies with this man as well. It's like basically a better keeper uh, right now is what I'm picking up about him because he's got that triple shot going. Here's a seed, uh, Mark 62, but baby, BBYY. Pretty cool seed, honestly. The Mark 62 baby. Baby, are you down, down, down? I don't know any songs that have baby in them. Baby, are you down, 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 down? That's a song that I never thought that I would ever sing on camera ever in my life. Okay, uh, let's continue through here. There is an item room somewhere on this floor. Uh, I'm, I'm going to be honest with you, I haven't actually heard that guy ever say friends till the end before. That actually, like, kind of scared the crap out of me. Uh, we do get small rock, which I ain't going to lie. My hips don't lie, and I'm, I'm actually pretty happy about small rock on this one. Uh, and, okay, yeah, Capricorn is also very positive. We're sitting pretty pretty in the tears department already, and the damage department also doing fine. We get ourselves some red hearts. I, it's, I mean, to be fair, it's hard to sit here and complain about anything on this run. Was that a good use of our uh, active item? I mean, right there would probably been a better use, but I'm okay with it so far. Two bombs, no tinted rocks, which is fine. We do have to find our boss, which I'm going to go out. Uh, pardon me. I'm going to go out on a limb and say it was that way, but apparently it was not. Is there a room down from here? Yeah, there is a room down from here. Who would have guessed? I'm going to take a guess that the boss is this way, then. That is actually super legit. We can probably sneak into curse rooms with this thing. There was a part of me that was like, Tyler, you got to at least try that. And I tried it, and it felt good. And uh, we're going to try to use that elsewhere now. Because, that, uh, like I said... That was pretty good. I do like how this guy's eyes turn red uh, when he fires. I don't think the actual hosts do that, but it looks pretty sick, so I can't sit here and complain. I, I will accept that. We will get a cube of meat or something here. Yeah, a cube of meat is good. And then we're going to head on down. Uh, we are going to real quick. I just realized that my sound effects are super up. And that is not where they normally are. Maybe we'll leave it at, like, two. I was wondering why things sounded a little off. And that is why things sounded off. It's no big deal. Don't ask why I had my sound effects up. It means nothing to you. Okay, well, we get Blue Baby's only friend. You're probably wondering, Tyler, what, what why? Why would you even take it? You know, Blue Baby's only friend isn't going to help you a lot on this run. It's not going to help a lot. Uh, but it still has the ability to, in a bind, you know, deal some good, solid damage for us. Now, when we walk out, we get a key as well, so it's not like everything was for, uh, nothing here. I will say we probably could have gone without doing that, but I'm okay with it. In our item room, we get, uh, I mean, we won't ever know. It's just the end of life as we know it. See, that's where Blue Baby's only friend can be doing good. Let's try this. Okay, that did not go as planned. Now, I think we can totally make this work, though. Like, I believe... I mean, we might actually be here forever, but... I believe that one day, he will pay out. I feel like you could just release this as an item, and people would go nuts over it. Because it's essentially like Breath of Life, except it doesn't suck. And a lot of people are probably like, Tyler, are you actually going to sit here for the rest of the day doing this? 
what's it to you? If it gives me a cer You're telling me you wouldn't ever do that? I'm telling you that that's like a 10 out- Okay, well, we could have just gone through here. Uh, I'm saying that's like a 10 out of 10 item right there. 10 out of 10 use of the item, at least. Nothing in there. Nothing in here, really. Uh, I would like to go find our shop. And by shop, I definitely mean our item room again. Because we got teleported out of it. What are you? Infested. No one cares. Okay, what do we got? Strange attractor. Let's do it. There's no way this ends poorly, right? Okay, let's let's throw this up here. I don't know why we can move, like, some things with ease. These barrels are just like, nah, fam. You ain't moving me if you tried your damnedest to. I don't know why I went cowboy on that. If you tried your damnedest to. What do we got in our shop? Any 7 cents? A 7 cent restock is a pretty good deal. And a strength card that will allow us to possibly steal a deal with the devil. I would be very happy to take. Honestly. Quite thrilled, to be fair. I'm finding it difficult to use uh, the host item in combat. But I'm loving the fact that, like, blood banks use it on those. And there's a lot of benefits I can think of with this item. The strange attractor can honestly just, like, it could screw off. I mean, everybody hates Strange Attractor. I'm sure there's going to be one person that's like, um, Tyler, please don't speak for me because I'm a Generation Z and I really like Strange Attractor. But, like, honestly, screw off, guys. Okay, take this. Take this, take this. Leaves us on half a heart. Which ain't the best. But we do now have Piercing Strange Attractor, Homing Goodness. Along with Sack Dagger, which, you know, Sack Dagger is not exactly a, uh, I mean, we could kill ourselves in that room trying to get one penny. I don't think that's high on my priority list. Oh, dude, I hate this. Strange Attractor's bad. It's, like, actually bad. Don't die. Just, uh, 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 stay alive, Tyler. Oh, Jesus. These are the kind of rooms that... You just don't like them with Strange Attracta. Now, we can just use Blue Baby's Only Friend on some of these fools. And you're sitting here wondering why I picked it up. This is why I picked it up. This, screw this, honestly. These are a lot of guys that want to ruin my day. That was almost the enemy. Okay, it was very risky doing that. But you have to understand, I'm all about risk. I'm screwed. I mean, we're actually dead, probably. Although, this guy doesn't move around a lot. So, maybe we're actually totally fine. To be fair, this is probably one of the better enemies we could have gotten here. And by enemies, I mean bosses. Except for that right there. Uh, screw me, I guess. Let's let's try this again. That was, that was bad. Like, actually horrible. I blame Strange Attractor. I mean, we, we had that run one if we never picked up Strange Attractor, but... Oh, it doesn't feel good. To be fair, it feels a little bad. It just continues my, uh, my trek of... Oh, wow, apparently it turns everything into the host as well. We just have to have this item forever. And ever and ever and ever. I suppose I respect that. We are the host. The hostess with the mostess. Whenever I see the word hostess, I think of the little uh, cream snack cakes, which I actually, like, I never ate them as a kid. All my friends would be like, oh, I have a Twinkie in my lunch. Oh, I have a Ho-Ho in my lunch. Which, by the way, are those literally the exact same thing? And why do you, in God's green earth, do you ever deep fry those? Because that's just asking for, like, some weird disease. But anyway, I never ate those. And I always, like, as a kid, I was like, oh, I wish that I could have a Ho-Ho or a Twinkie. My family just never bought them. And then now I look back and I'm like, you know, I think my intestines are happy that I never ate those as a kid. Because, uh, you know, they're not exactly something I have a strong desire to ever eat now. Uh, we do have Jacob's Ladder, which is honestly just dope as frick. Uh, we've gotten some really good items and also, you know, Strange Attractor in this episode. Now, if we can get another Eye of Belial, dude, sign me the hell up. I love Eye of Belial. It's a fantastic item. Hema Tamahama Hama. 
don't really care about that. Lockdown, I don't really care about that. I know I just killed all my HP uh, to pick up two pills that ultimately did absolutely nothing for our run. That's kind of the way I roll. How's our damage looking? I mean, it's looking okay. You know, I would really like a tears upgrade and not this singular, you know, red HP that does pretty much jack all for us, but I um, can't win them all, I suppose. That does actually work. Uh, I am the one. I knew that that was going to work. That's pretty cool, actually. This is our deal. That's not really what I thought was going to happen in this room. Uh, we are going to take all of these. Because they are solid. And then I'm going to pop the pill. It's a perks pill. And then we're going to slide into the DMs like that. And that's going to work out a-okay. I have a feeling that the coding for that might be like a little funkier than you think. Because on a room-to-room -room basis, I don't know how that would track that. But I'm mildly impressed, to say the least. You know, I thought that it might be cool and might work the way I thought it would, and then the game proved me right. More like the mod author proved me right. You know, you are the man, MPM Boulder, or whatever your name is. B-A-M Polder. There we go. Spider Bite, good item. Happy to have it right now. It's a beautiful member of society for us. This is a really odd scenario, though. Because I actually want to botch my deal with the devil chance. So that we get an 100% chance on the next floor. So we are going to take a hit on our boss fight. And then hope to god that, you know, 1% is enough to not, you know, have that do anything. Thank you. And then put this here. Give me Cricket's head. No, and little baggy's not what I want either. So please just never talk to me ever again. Uh, will we go to the shop? Sure, why not? Three cent spirit heart? Uh, not actually what I want, because I want to get hit right here. So, boom. We got 1% chance with the deal with the devil. Oh, okay, well, we actually just died, but... No, you don't understand. 36 is not good. One. That is the percent chance I want. Okay, Tyler. Hey, dummy. Just, like, hit yourself on the fire. Stop being an idiot. You can beat Little Horn. Trust me. I know that that comes as a shock to you that you might not be able to, but trust me, you can. We're getting our, uh, we're getting our Seven Seals men putting in the work. He is dead. We give Mr. Dolly, which is actually a fantastic item for us, as it gives us that dope tears up that we needed. We buy the Spirit Heart. And then we head on down, we'll have a 100% chance of a deal on the next floor, which is exactly what the doctor ordered. Uh, and honestly, I couldn't be happier. Everything about this uh, is going perfectly to plan. Now, don't pick up Strange Attractor and completely ruin your run. As that would kind of be the exact opposite of what we're trying to do here. Also, don't lose all of your HP in this room for some reason. Every once in a while, do the cha-cha slide and just go... Uh, into your uh, fetal position inside of your skull head thing place. It would be interesting if we had, you know, a really good orbital like sack dagger or something. That's me being facetious. Uh, but if we had an orbital, we could just like slide into those DMs and then just sit there and have it wreck people. That would be pretty cool, honestly. I'm being dumb because I'm playing like very stupidly. And we're not really in the best spot to play stupidly on this run. Like, our damage is good, but it's not as good as I think it is. And that's messing with me a little bit. And slide out of those DMs. No. We got this. We got this. We got this. And slide into those DMs. We botched that. Okay. Can't win them all, right? We do need a key to go to our item room. How are we going to find it? That's a good question. Probably going to look long and hard. And then in the end, it's going to get basically just plop one out on the floor in this room. Am I right? Of course I'm right. Okay, are you a wizard? I mean, it's, it's pretty bad. But by the time it actually would do anything to our run. I mean, I suppose right now it's doing something to our run. But we're going to be fine. 
I will take Rosary Bead. Sure, why not? Parasitoid is not exactly good, but it's better than, you know, Brother Bobby, I guess. So I won't sit and complain. I'll accept that fate gave me this item and I should be happy about it. I don't know why I'm in such a weird mood today. I'm very, I'm very talky. Which I suppose is good when my job is to commentate myself playing, you know, this game on the internet. But... I'm in a very weird mood. Okay, well, please don't botch your deal with Devil Chance right now. You need to actually, like, survive this fight. Which should not be that difficult, Tyler. I mean, the Forsaken is one of the easiest bosses in the game, unless there's two of them in a room full of, uh, hell. Take your HP. Your deal contains Demon Baby. You take it. You move on. Do you care about anything else on this floor? Honestly, you don't give two dams about anything. I know you got money, but who needs money when you got fame and fortune? Double key room. I would actually like to go in there. And if it's a full run reroll, I mean, I'm going to do it. But, God, I'm actually so bad at Isaac today. My brain's just not in the right spot, apparently. Take a key. Take a key. Take a chest. Take a key. We could go back and do that room now. Y'all want to see what's behind the double key room. Let's go do a double key room. I'm hoping it's like one or a six, dude. I know this run's phenomenal, but make it weird. All right. All right. All right. That bomb actually lingered forever, though. You can't even fault me there. There ain't no fault in me now. That bomb was bad. Da -na -na -na. Yeah, let's do it. Five poison bombs. I was really hoping that was going to be a telepills. I know there was like literally maybe a 4% chance of that being a telepills, but 4% is better than no percent. Mega fatty. For the love of God, you need to die. The spirit heart is amazing. Mega maw, you also are on the list of things that need to die. Starting with Mega fatty and then ending at <laughs> you. I don't even know what I'm saying half the time anymore. Nothing. I'll take the bomb. I will continue. Oh, we got seven bombs. And that's what happens when you pick up five uh, in a relatively short amount of time. Some keys are fine. Beautiful. Thank you. Much appreciated. I wish there was more like random teleporting in Isaac. I know that sounds weird. But, like, have a room that teleports you to your item room. Have a room that teleports you to your shop. I botched my deal with the devil chance. I mean, actually just put me down. I'm an absolute idiot. But, to be fair, we probably weren't going to... We probably weren't going to get one on this floor anyway. Just because we were, uh... A wee bit late to the old party. We found our shop. I mean, what do we even need from our shop? Something like Chaos would make me feel good about losing our Devil Deal chance, because then, like, there's a good chance of just being crappy. High Greed. You don't understand, though. You need to die. Thank you. A lot of money, though. It's hard for me to sit here and complain when we have a lot of money. Because we can make that into uh, some other unique stuff in the future, but... There's our item room. We don't have a key for it, though. Is this our secret room? It is our secret room. A key, though? No key. A key, a key, no key. I see, I see. No key, no key. I don't know where to go. I mean, I know we have to go this way, but... I don't know if we should just leave the item room behind. It's gonna be a moot point if we never find a key, but... I mean, this run is doing A-OK -okay without that item room but if it's like friggin i don't know sacred heart sitting in there which is you know damn impossibility but if it's sacred heart sitting in there i want it dude you know proptosis i want it i hate this boss like actually so much and he's not gonna die 
We have actually used up a lot of our nine lives already. If it wasn't for that item, we'd be like super dead on this run. And this is going to give me a key, sadly. So you're going to make me desire going back. That's fine. I can't actually pick up the no, which is a little strange. But we'll take Black Rune back. Uh, we'll hit the sh item room. Not shot. I remember these things. Uh, we'll hit the item room. Hope to God it's, you know, uh, Proptosis, Polyphemus, Polyfliptastic. Uh, it's Explosivo. It's Explosivo. Explosivo is really good. But, I don't know if it synergizes poorly with Jacob's Ladder. Like, it might actually kill us. So instead, we're going to bomb this thing a little bit in the hopes of getting anything better than any of those. Apparently, Dry Baby is what we end up with. I probably should have taken Explosivo, but what are you going to do, honestly? We could have also Black Runed it, but I don't think that that's high on my to-do list. I'd rather Black Rune something on the next floor, like a boss item or something. But let's head down. I was going to say, I feel like I've been recording this run forever, but it's only, you know, 11 minutes in. And then I realized that we were probably 11 minutes in on the last run that I ended up botching and losing. So, sometimes sad things happen. What's the card? Two of spades. I mean, just pop it. I want to carry the black rune. I don't got time to go back and find that other thing. So, we'll just rock with this. It's not like we're going to need that many keys anyway. You know, we'll find keys. This ain't no enter the gungeon. Hi. You don't understand, little ghosty friends, but you need to die. Donkey Shay? Uh, yeah, that's gonna only end in my deal with Devil Chance going down. Thanks a lot. Much appreciated. You're a sweet doll and a half. A little bit sucky. We're, on, we're not gonna get a deal on this floor now. Uh, just because, you know, I've played poorly, thus the game will treat me poorly. They do that occasionally. But, what are you going to do? We get Adrenaline. Which is okay. Now, it's a syringe, which means that we have, I believe, two? Or was the one on the last floor? Ah, oh, crap. That was on the last run. Uh, so, I suppose we do not have two. But we're going to be two syringes away from uh, a beautiful spun transformation. So get hyped about that, you know. It's hard to not be hyped. I will utilize my host when I can. Mask of Infamy. It's a crappy boss. I mean, really, it's a crappy boss. Not a big fan. Yep, you're still going to be annoying, huh? Continue to be annoying, that's okay. See how much I care. We should be able to actually relatively destroy him quickly uh, with the combination of Spider Bite and Jacob's Ladder. Thank you very much. Matchbook, I don't care about. I will take the tier upgrade from it. And then honestly, I don't care enough to find our shop, so we're just going to go down. Necropolis 2. I'm going to be honest with you. We, we should find the shop on this floor. Like, we're reaching that point where it's kind of like, okay, Tyler, you're just not even caring about the run if you don't find the shop on this floor. We have a 100% chance with Deal with the Devil, which is a very large percent chance. So close to 100, it might actually be 100. And it would be nice to get a good deal. Even if it means we kill ourselves on it. But that first means that we have to actually stay alive on this floor first. Which we haven't exactly been doing phenomenal at. You thought I was going to stop on those spikes, didn't you? I remembered. I remembered. See, like, this is the kind of room that is sucky enough for me to die on it. That was actually a good use of my thing. I hope you're proud of me. Because honestly, I'm proud of me. What the hell hit me? My deal with the devil chance. No. Why'd you have to do this to me? I was feeling so good about it. And then you just slapped me in the face. It's still 46, which is okay. Oh my god, this is a bad idea, isn't it? Uh, sure, we'll take Dr. Fetus. 
No way this ends poor, right? I kind of want to get rid of it. Just because the other run's going to be so much more fun. I don't think any of you would really be all that mad at me if I got rid of it. Like, right? I know that I picked it up under my own power and jurisdiction. I'm removing it. I, I don't like Dr. Fetus to begin with. Jacob's Ladder is fun. It's exciting. You know, if we pick up Tech Zero, it's going to be just an absolute chaos hellhole. And that's what I really want. Wow, I, I actually contained Super Greed. I, I, you know, I knew it was going to happen because the game was just going to spite me. But I still had, like... A whoa, whoa, halfway there, oh, oh, living on a prayer that that wasn't going to happen. But here we are. Little sucky. Can't even bomb a shopkeeper or anything to try to get uh, that extra devil deal chance. I'm actually so bad at Isaac today. I don't know if I'm just like a moron or what. But my lord, I'm bad. I'm bad. I'm bad. I'm really, really bad at Isaac. That's not our super secret room either. You know what? Screw me. Fight mom. Pray you get a deal that you really don't deserve. Because I guarantee you, you ain't going to get it. We only got two lives. Like, we got with this life and then our next life. That is not good. Dude, I'm actually, like, crapping the bat on this run. And it's because of this stupid guy being, uh, blowy uppy. So please stop being blowy uppy. Fine, you know what? Be blowy uppy. See how much I care. Go do the fly thing. Okay, thank you. There's a lot of things that want to kill me in here. I know that's just normal mom fight, but... You don't understand there's too many death related people. The foot's going to come down. It's going to kill me. I'm not in the right state of mind to do this run. Oh, hello, mom. Hi. How are you today? I'm so bad. There's no way I survived the damn cathedral. Oh, Jesus Christ. Dude, I'm actually the worst. I don't know what is wrong with me today. All I know is this is the end of me recording Isaac today. Uh, that's the host mod. I definitely didn't showcase it to the utmost of its ability. I promise you that's a pretty good mod. I'm just way out of it, I guess. Uh, thank you so much for watching. If you did, remember to leave a like, leave a comment, and subscribe. I'll see you guys all next time. Bye.